We have reached that point in this season where it is all out tonight. The Kickies, Danny Fisher of Pace Center here, Chris Black of Sidekicks, BCSN, and a red shirt. Tunisia. Yeah, okay. Tunisia today. No, no tuxedos this year. We could afford it in the budget. All right, but this is the Kickies. We hand out our postseason awards. Let's get right to it right now. Chris Black, we will start with the girls. The keeper of the year, your award winner is... It's got to be Kennedy Slovak from Oregon Clay. Back-to-back -back keeper of the year in the track. Phenomenal season again. Got to call her in the postseason uh, post against Southview. Great game. Saved a long shot from Abigail Mann. Phenomenal year again for her. And she comes back. Yeah, no question. Just a junior. Okay. Danny Fisher, your girls keeper of the year. Well, I mean, Kennedy Ken just has done really well. And, you know, I agree with Chris. I think she, she's been fantastic. So I, I'm I'm really good with Kennedy. I think the save she made against South, yep. just that save there was just an absolute pure class save. So she, she deserves no it. No question. All right. And then my keeper of the year, and, and we didn't make this up. <laughs> Kennedy Slovak of Clay. Oh, hey, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, mean you, you can't say it. Back to back track no. keeper of the year, as you said. Uh, first team, all district as well. And as you mentioned, Chris Black, she is back. So, congratulations, Kennedy Slovak, sweeping the kickies. We, again, we didn't talk about this beforehand. All right, let's move on to our girls player of the year. Chris Black, you have the floor. You can claim a little bit of a homer. Grace Tursky, Toledo St. Ursula. <laughs> Love the way she plays and what she can do dynamically, drop into the midfield. Scored in 12 of 18 games this year. Would have been more, but they didn't get all the regular season games in. Uh, and 17 goals, 7 assists. All right, so the former St. Ursula coach going with a St. <laughs> Ursula player. Okay, I, who saw that coming? All right, Danny Fisher, your girls player well, of the year. I, I'm just saying somewhat impartial with everything. So <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm kind of sort of, I think there's a few out there. I'm going to give a couple of shout outs. I think Ryder Clark had a great season at Clay. Um, Peyton Rigg did as well. Um, uh, Grace Tursky had a great year as well. She scored some really good goals. So as did Ashley Barron for NDA as well. So, Well, Danny's got a club to run, so he can't make anybody <laughs> mad. We understand that, so we'll let that go. So I'll narrow it down. Uh, I'll say Ashley Barron is my player of the year on the girls' side. And how do you argue? Uh, I won't argue with you, Chris, but still. <laughs> University of Cincinnati bound, first team All-State, track and district player of the year. Ashley Barron, my girls player of the year. All right, we go from girls keeper, girls player to girls coach. Former girls coach himself, Chris Black. Um, I'm going with a little bit out of the viewing area, uh -oh. but you did get to see a lot of him this year, and that's Trent Heckman from Ashland. What a phenomenal job he did with that program, getting it back up on the map, working his way up uh, through a district title, and his last year he is retiring. Oh, Chris, we're never out of the area with the BCSN Now app. That's a great segue. Yeah. That's a good point, Eric. All right, uh, let's go to Danny Fisher. Danny Fisher, your girls coach of the year. I think, again, again, so, so many good coaches out there again. And, and again, I'm trying to stay totally impartial with everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm, with really, I'm really Mr. Ne year, neutral Smith. right now. So yes, yes. I think Coach there Smith has done a wonderful job at NDA. <laughs> I think Coach Williams did a great job there. I also think Coach Creech at Northview did a good job with the girls there. He came into the program late on in, into the spring season, into the summer, um, and they played some good soccer, and, and they've got a good young program coming through there as well. Okay, so again, Danny, maintaining, you're like Switzerland. <laughs> uh, let's, let's go to my girls coach of the year, and I have Don Hess of Clay, and again, what can you say, track coach of the year as well. Don Hess leading the way with the track champs. That is my coach of the year. All right, let's go to our moment or play of the year for the girls. And again, Chris Black leads us off. Yeah, and this is the one that we mentioned her earlier. Ashley Barron's goal against St. Ursula was clinical. Phenomenal. She checked back to the ball, received it, turned on her player, got in, beat the two center backs coming across uh, inside the 18 and buries it. No one else could have probably done that this year. She really, she did a nice job this year playing back to goal, I think much better than years prior. All right, Danny Fisher, your moment of the year for the girls. <laughs> Um, I, I just really enjoyed the whole season with, with the girls' side this year. I thought it was fantastic. There's some really good soccer played and really good matchups for the NDA and Ant Anthony Wayne matchups as well in there. So uh, the, the highlight for me was the whole season. No, I, I, maybe it should have been with you and the ties. I love yeah, that, yeah, Danny. Yeah. You had some sweet <laughs> ties this year. All right, uh, my moment of the year for the girls, Perrysburg's Addie Graham becoming the all-time goal-scoring leader for the Perrysburg Yellow Jackets. And we've told Addie's story uh, several times here. 
uh, childhood cancer survivor, has not only survived, but has progressed and flourished in Perrysburg system. So congratulations on a great career for Addie Graham at Perrysburg. That is our girls awards for the night. Let's come back after the timeout with the boys side right here on Sidekicks.